All right, first, I'm going to go to DFW WordPress website. It's very s simple. <laughs> we have a, um, just a P2 theme here from Automatic. And so I'm going to log in. I've already installed pods, so this is a fresh install. You, you can do this right now if you want on your own blog and build exactly what I'm building. The, nothing I'm doing here is anything difficult. It's, uh, it's a little difficult, <laughs> but you can follow along my steps. And, it should be very easy once you uh, understand everything as a whole. So uh, one of the specs here from Tony was that he wanted to have a membership directory, and that's a great thing to have. Uh, you can build, build it with plenty of plugins, and um, you can even use BuddyPress. Uh, but for t today, we're going to use pods, and I'll show you how to build it. So let's start with pods. And I'm already over here in the setup panel of pods, and I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. I didn't. Anticipate this part. <coughs> All right, so I added a member pod, and that's just um, it could be whatever you want to name it. It's named members or companies or whatever. Uh, as you see, it starts out with a name column and a body column. I can reorder these if I want to, and that's just the way they appear in the form. So whenever someone's editing the form, it just makes it more logical for them to see it in order the way you want it. So for our uh, needs, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that body column. So now we have a name. So every member has a name. Uh, Josh, John, Mark, whatever it might be. Now we need to add a company because each member is part of a company. Let's see. Actually, um, Tony, do you want to do it by comp you want to separate everything by, by, by company or by person? Person. person. All right, so uh, we are going to do a company column. And what I'm going to do is um, the label here, it just it's auto-generated from the name, so you don't have to use it, but you can put it whatever you want to do. So you can put the company name, but the column is still going to be named company. And you have the column type here. This is what fiancés are for. Yeah. An extra hand. Company name, we have uh, uh, just a single line of text. It could be date, number, uh, boolean, which is a checkbox, so don't let that confuse you. It's really just a checkbox. And then um, you have a single line of text, which is what you see here. And then you have a paragraph text, which is like you would see in your content type um, uh, post or page. Whenever you're editing content, there's that big WYSIWYG editor. It's what you see is what you get. It's uh, got formatting, and uh, you can go to the HTML view and do whatever you need to do there. Or you can do code, which is uh, just basically an HTML view for people that code. Uh, or it can just make sure that you don't have the formatting um, WYSIWYG on. So it's just a straight text area. Then you have a file upload. And then you have a permalink, which is um, what you're familiar with with posts and pages. Uh, you can have a permalink. And what that is uh, for a pod is it's just related to that pod item. So this isn't the full permalink of uh, W. Uh, dfwwp.org slash the full permalink. It's really just that section of the pod. So it's really um, like, for instance, if a member's name is John, it would be John, and that would be the permalink. You don't have all the stuff outside of that. It's just John. Then you have a relationship, and that's very useful. Uh, we're not going to use it right now for this, this column, but we're going to use single line text. And um, some people are going to be part of companies, or maybe they just they're in between companies, they don't want to list it. So you don't have to make that required, but you can. Or you can make it unique, which is um, only one person from each of those companies can enter that company name. So um, that would be useful in certain situations for something more complex. And then uh, multiple right now, this UI I need to uh, first address that we are in the progress of, um, uh, in the process of updating the entire UI uh, from top to bottom and making it look better and making it more understandable. So uh, as you see this um, is now, it might not be that maybe two to three weeks from now. So it's going to get better and easier to use. Uh, 
you can use a display helper, which uh, basically formats the output a certain way. Or you can use input helper, which we don't have any yet. But what that does is it circumvents the form building process, and when it builds this text uh, field, you can add every, anything you want to to that field. You can make it extra HTML, add some JavaScript, some more CSS, whatever you want to do. Full customization. For this uh, use, we're not going to need an input helper, so we'll go ahead and just add a company name now. All right, so um, the next column was contact. Um, I'm going to leave that one out because that one's a little more complex. We'll get back to it. Address, so we have uh, address, line one, line two, et cetera. Um, for this point, I think I'm going to use line one and line two. And then we have the city. The state. And one thing great with pods is it comes with predefined a list of states and a predefined list of countries. It does not have provinces, etc. It just has US states. So uh, what we are gonna do is set up a relationship. And this is where it gets really cool and really um, confusing. Um, we have picks, which are um, the column type, which is pick, and it's a relationship field. What that means is you can relate it to another pod, like country or state, or you can relate it to, relate it to your WordPress categories if you have them. And um, you can also relate them to WordPress pages, posts, or users, and eventually even more. So uh, for this one in state, I can select down. Uh, this bi-directional, don't let that confuse you too much because at this point, you don't need to. Uh, so we'll ignore that for right now until we get to the next part. Uh, so we have state for this one, and uh, they're only going to be able to select one, but if they were able to select more, for a pick relationship, you can select this multiple checkbox, and that will let them select more than one from a list. All right, so I'm just click save. All righty, and then we have postal code. And uh, you might think it might be a number, but uh, for this use, we're going to use single line text because they might enter dashes or whatever they might. Maybe that space, extra space here and there. Uh, number right now is really for a number, uh, like a price, like a 0, .00, 0, .00, that that type of formatting. So we use single line text. And then we have phone number, so phone number. And also that will be text. And I'm not really making anything required right now because a lot of this people might not want to uh, add, but they will need to add something here very shortly once we get to it. Uh, fax number. Uh, website URL. In case they have a Twitter ID, they can provide that. Uh, column type, definitely. Uh, <laughs> single text. Uh, as you see, my fiance already knows a little bit about bots, so she's uh, been watching me heavily because I work on a lot of bots. Description and this is where I could have taken that previous body column that was there before. I deleted it, but for now I, I wanted to add it back, and um, I'll do that now. And this one I'm going to use. I want to give them an option just to do code, um, just to make sure that um, it doesn't get a little too fancy. And then I'll save it. Then we have photo or logo. So um, we're going to use file upload for that one. And by the way, uh, Matt, he's the lead developer of Pods. I'm the secondary lead developer. It's between us. Uh, he's working right now. He, he might be committing it tonight, but it's a completely brand new file uploader for Pods. So it's going to be um, integrated with WordPress media, and it's going to um, be much more easier and uh, more familiar for you users. 